unfortunately, as of right now in 2020 or 2021, depending on when you're watching this video, there isn't a definitive cure that we can offer patients with multiple myeloma. We have very good treatments that can suppress the myeloma and keep it under control for long periods of time. But as of yet, we haven't managed to create a package that will cure most patients. And the reason is because often there is within any one patient more than one myeloma. There is multiple myelomas. There are different myeloma cells that will respond to certain treatments and different myeloma cells that won't respond to different treatments. So this myeloma cell might respond to the first treatment you have. This myeloma cell might be resistant. And so later on, this myeloma cell can come back even though this one has gone away. And so invariably, if you look after a patient for long enough, their disease will come back. For most patients, what's reassuring is that a protein increase in their routine blood tests or sometimes in their urine tests will be noted before anything bad occurs as a result of their myeloma coming back. So the most important thing is that they attend for their regular visits and lab work with their doctor. Right now, more and more patients are being followed virtually, which is a good thing for most patients. But it's really important that you tell us if something's happening so that we can organize the right tests to investigate. Myeloma cells normally live in the bone marrow. So if they're growing in number, a number of situations can sometimes occur. If they interfere with your red cell making production in the bone marrow, you can become anemic. This might make you more short of breath when you walk up the stairs, for example, or do your grocery shopping. Or it could also make you just feel more tired than usual. This might be something to talk about with your doctor if it occurs. Myeloma cells can also interact with cells of the bones that can destroy the bone infrastructure and make little holes. This is probably the reason that you're on a bone strengthening medicine that is also part of your myeloma treatment. If you have bony pain somewhere that's getting progressively worse, this is probably an important reason to reach out to your, fam to your treating physician. In addition, if you've got any new or acute pain in your bones, that is definitely a reason to, to seek urgent medical attention. And of course, you're going to reach out to a doctor or seek advice if you have any new weakness or numbness anywhere. Those are important symptoms to reach out and talk to somebody urgently about. Sometimes myeloma cells can get together and form a lump and that lump is often called a plasmacytoma. Again, if you have a new lump somewhere that you can feel, that's another reason to reach out and talk to your physician. The proteins that are being made by your myeloma cells can also cause some problems if they're coming back in large numbers. You may not be aware of, of this happening in your body, but sometimes if it occurs, the proteins can cause a difficulty for your kidneys as they're working hard to filter out those proteins. And you may notice a change in the amount of urine that you're making or some increase in swelling in your legs. These are other symptoms to be mindful of and watch out for and report to your doctor if they occur. I could talk all day about a whole variety of symptoms that could happen, but your doctor is going to be watching you and monitoring you closely. So it's important to be vigilant, but also to keep a good communication open between you and the doctor that's caring for your myeloma. If there's a concern that your multiple myeloma might be coming back, your doctor might organize a number of tests. Those will probably include tests of your blood to see if you are anemic, tests of the salts in your blood to see, for example, if you have a high calcium level. Sometimes that's something that we look out for very carefully. 
We'll check in on your kidney function and make sure your kidneys are working well. And in addition to that, we might do some extra tests on your urine. Depending on where you are in your myeloma treatment course, we might organize for another bone marrow biopsy to be done, as this can sometimes give us extra information that will help us in picking the best treatment for you next. We'll probably want to have a look at your bones and see if there is any new areas of bony destruction that we might want to look after, either with some radiation or some other intervention, or even just to note where we are in terms of your bony integrity. There may be other specialized tests that we request, depending on how you are and what symptoms that you have. Those might include an MRI scan or a PET scan or other specialized investigations that will help us to appropriately pick the very best treatment for you. Depending where you are in your myeloma journey, the treatment of your relapse will be decided upon on what kind of myeloma you have and tailored to you as a patient. Your doctor will discuss what recipe will work best for you, depending on what you've had before and any other medical problems that you might have that will help them better select something that will work well and help you maintain the best control of your myeloma, but also some good quality of life. If there is a particular spot that might benefit from a targeted treatment like radiation, this might also be something that is included in your treatment package. And then if there is the option for a clinical trial, I would strongly encourage all patients to consider this as there are lots of new and exciting medicines that are being developed to treat patients with multiple myeloma and clinical trials are a fantastic way to get access to these medicines before they're routinely available on the marketplace. So at relapse, remember that the treatment will be tailored to you as a patient and also to your specific disease so that you get the best possible outcome from that next line of therapy.